almost okay. as valuable by the pound as white truffles or beluga caviar, you could call marijuana a precious plant. We're looking at a little under four and a half pounds at one time is what we keep up there. And so you can see right there, that's you know anywhere from 10 to 20 grand. Marijuana businesses are serious about security because weed equals money, and that makes them a target. If I owned a jewelry store and somebody robbed me, you would never get retail um, for that on the black market. But with cannabis, it's a black market commodity, and therefore it's as good as cash in the United States. Washington state voted for legal recreational marijuana back in November. And as the state implements regulations for hundreds of licensed growers, processors, and retailers, security is high on the agenda. You know, we're looking at security standards and um, cameras and systems like that. That's on top of what they already do. If you got into the lobby, there's motion detectors, high definition cameras. We have panic buttons throughout the whole store. Inch and a quarter, uh, ballistic acrylic. My camera system allows me to view the stores when I'm not here at home, on the computer. I can rewind, fast forward. If you're trying to saw in from above, if you're trying to tunnel in from below, there are sensors and then you have the safes. Now this is the bulk safe. As weed becomes legal, a bigger cannabis industry means a boom for security companies. We'd like to be the first national security company for this industry. That's where Dan Williams steps in. We actually don't see a lot of violent crime in our industry. People assume that. We do see internal theft. There's a lot of smash and grab, um, breaking of a window, trying to crawl in and getting stuck there. So we see a lot of goofballs. We see a lot of funny situations like that. Williams is taking advantage of the fact that big security companies are wary of pot because it's still legal at the federal level. Kevin Griffin used to be an ADT customer. Out of the blue, um, last week, they came by for just a simple routine checkup, or at least that's what they told us. They left by telling us that they can no longer work with medical marijuana. So their alarm systems are no longer connected to the police. So what's the point of a panic silent alarm? ADT says it's following the law. And pop business owners are also looking over their shoulders for something else took all of our medicine, took all of our money, seized our bank accounts. So it, it, it was a big headache that took about a year to finally get resolved. He's talking about the federal government. Jose Palieri, CNN Money, Seattle, Washington.